Mm-hmm. Right, here we go. Um, hi, it's Mark Ever. Um, apologies for the... Can we get that darker? No, that doesn't make a difference. Back it. I really need to put something behind me to darken that. So, uh, my office has been moved. Uh, I'm out. Lot, I'm now out. Uh, and... Well, it's now in the main room, but I've got my full big desk in front of me. Shelves. Um, eagle-eyed people will notice what they all are. Uh, they're mostly black library books. Uh, I'm happy to say quite a few of the authors I now cons- are actually friends of mine at this point. So, why are we here? Jetway bare bones build. Ah, this arrived today. More specifically, here we go. There's the build number if you are interested. Now... Why did I get this? I got this model, it's got 2 gigabit Ethernet ports and Wi-Fi. It can act as an access point. In fact, I'm going to be using it to replace my router. I'm going to be putting PF Sense on it. It's going to be a total, complete build. Um, I'm going to get the basics done of it. I'm not going to actually do the full install streaming, because uh, I'd have to set that up. Suffice to say, I'm just going to open it up and show what's inside. But as you can see, it's a small box. Let me compare it to a decent-sized hardback book. Let's try one of the latest Black Library books, which is Anthony Reynolds' The Purge, Collector's Edition. Thank you. But well, it's a thin hardback book. That's the entire box. That, that's it. That's the entire box. So it is small. I'm not exactly big. I'm six foot, but I'm not huge. So I'll look inside, shall we? Ugh, everything is packed very neatly in there. Guessing box of gubbins, that's it. Instruction manual, driver CD, etc. Now, it doesn't come with a hard drive, it doesn't come with RAM. It takes maximum 2 gigs, DD or 3 RAM, but only some of the slowest stuff. I got stuff that's slightly faster. Now, RAM tends to downgrade, so I'm not too worried. Some nice. Fairly solid padded foam. And here it is. Let me get it out of it. I'll do that. That's it. So, on the front we have hard drive, hard drive activity light, the power light, and a power button. And the bottom you've got it's pieces. Plenty of ventilation at the sides. I you can kind of see through when I do that. Lots of ventilation. Very nice. Uh, comments from Agent Random in IRC. Bigger than a pie. Yes, it is indeed bigger than a pie. Um, now, on the back, we have Wi-Fi Aerial. Audio out. Four USB ports, or USB 2. 2 gigabit Ethernets, and a DVI out and power in. Uh, X86. Yeah, someone's asking what is it. It's an X86. Uh, the exact model number, if you want to Google it, it's the Jetway JBC, that's Juliet Bravo Charlie, 362 Foxtrot 36 Whiskey 2600 B for Bravo. It's the model with the Wi Fi already inbuilt. So, let's get the box out of the way. It needs RAM and it needs a hard drive. Ta da! Hard drive and RAM. Uh, what's the price? Depends where you buy it from. Um, if you check out miniitx.com, it's almost 300 euros. I got it on Amazon from a Crowd whose name I can't remember. Not Amazon, sorry, eBay. Brand new from a crowd I can't remember, including delivery, it was like 147 euro. So it's pretty cheap, actually. And if you're able to pick up RAM, which I picked up mine in a place called CEX in Dublin City Centre for 15 euro for two gigs of RAM. Hard drive. Well, what I do for a living is that's the one done's or very nice. That's the exact model. This particular particular um, hard drive was pulled out of a laptop. Now, let's prep 
And do do do. Come with me, my little children of the corn. There we go. So I have not taken it apart before, so I will look at the manual. Quick installation guide. To open the chassis. Locate all these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and unscrew them one by one. Oh! I didn't show you what came in the brown box. Mounting points. That's a nice little SATA adapter. Uh, the power for it co will come off the motherboard itself from what I've read. but That's uh, pretty nice, actually. I've got a bigger aerial than that. Power brick. Now, uh, for the order from Germany, I got a German power cord. Oh, but it's a standard kettle lead connection. So I only have 50 billion kettle leads. I'm not exactly worried. And mounting things, blah, blah, blah. A DVI to VGA adapter for your setup. They've actually thought of everything. Black mounting screw. Who's for screw bag for mounting everything? RAM, hard drives, everything. They've thought of everything. This crowd are great. I haven't even started to build, and I'm impressed. I mean, yes, I could have specifically said I live in Ireland so I need the UK slash Irish plug adapter but I didn't really think it would be a problem I've got mediums but no that that's very tightly packed and I'm genuinely impressed so don't want to lose screws <laughs> taking them apart and having screws going everywhere would be a problem there we go it's not magnetic but it'll work. Uh, there we go. Very, how very professional of me. I'm just moving the camera around like crazy. It'll focus in a minute, don't worry. Yeah, already lost the screw. Yeah, on my crotch. Um, my screwdriver uh, is an actual proper electronic Swiss Army knife that my wife got me a few Christmases ago. It's their Cyber Commander one. Not the one with the USB, because why the hell would you want one with USB on it? I don't know. But, uh, it's great, because it's got most of the parts that you'd need for taking apart computers. One, two. Three. Grand. These are all the same size as well, so there's none. Oh, which one does the extremely long one go in? Which one does the very short one go in? I like this. They've got down. They've really, really, really paid a lot of attention on this, and I am thrilled with it. So, once I've gotten all the screws out, I will hold it up to the camera to give you guys a much better look at the internals. It takes laptop RAM, a mini PCIe card. Now the thing is, with the mini PCIe card, you can either put in a wireless card, which this model will have in it, but it also doubles up as an M SATA port. So if you get the edition that doesn't have wireless, the, P the mini PCIe, as I said, it doubles up as M SATA. So you can really go small and quiet if you want to get an MSATA SSD. Now, if I had lying around a spare SSD, which I don't, I would put an SSD in this to make it entirely silent. But, okay. Once all screws are out, you take away the back I.O. panel shield and then lift the cover upwards to open the chassis. Now I'm looking at the back I.O. shield and I'm going, uh, really? I don't think it's going to come away because of this. 
And quite rightly, it doesn't. So that is on fairly tightly, as one would expect and hope. So. Loosen it just a bit. Screw that. And a little washer that's on it as well. It'll be very gentle, we don't want to break that. Yeah. This is take away the back IO cover. It's fairly tight. Again, it's kind of what you want, isn't it? Something is catching it. Um, Agent Random asks, what am I going to be using it for? He asks, uh, just storage and a router. Actually, not storage at all. This is just going to be my router and firewall for my home. Uh, I already have a fairly large server built. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Now... Let's give you all a nice little look at those internals. Look at that. Ain't that shiny, folks? Ain't that shiny? So. Our RAM. Wow. I'm impressed. It's a little different to what I actually see uh, with the instructions they gave me. In fact, the internals are quite different. Yeah, the internals are very different compared to the instruction manual they've sent me. Mind you, that is just the quick installation guide, and it's two years old. <laughs> so, ah, he, he may have missed it. It's an Intel Cedar Trail series CPU and NM10 chipset based 3.5 SBC. Herby derby for herby derbles. Yeah. So while we're having a look there, I'll read it off. Uh, bum, 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 bum. It's a design of a 3.5 inch SBC, 6 layers. The PCB is 14.8 by 10.2 centimeters. It's an Intel NM10 Express chipset. One of three different CPUs and N2600, N2800, or a D250. Uh, RAM, it can take 2 gigs uh, of 800 megahertz SD RAM, DD3, or 4 gigs of 800 to 1066. Now, I have a 2 gig that is 1066, so it should downspeed that. I'm not too worried. Expansion slots are a CFast card slot and a mini PCIe. Dual Retech PCIe Gigabit. It supports fast Ethernet functions, has HD audio. It can be used as a car PC as well, a similar one anyway. Sorry, I'm just looking through this to make sure I know exactly what the hell I'm doing. It can take a seat. Oh, wow, do I have one anywhere? I'm pretty sure I don't have a compact flash card anywhere. The mini. This slot here, the mini PCIe slot, I said it can also be used if you're not using it for wireless as uh, MSATA. <laughs> All different settings that you can use. And boy, oh boy, is there a lot of different settings you can use. Well... The most important one for me is the um, SATA connection and SATA power. SATA and SATA power. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's get some RAM in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, XKCD comics do indeed require some concentration. 
So, do 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 do. No. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Introducing the BIOS. It's a standard BIOS. Hmm. Okay. That's fairly self explanatory for 99.9% .9 of it. To install a hard disk. Eventually, sort out music to play when I'm building things. Of course, there's a lot of legal involved if you want to play music as you build. Because you do not want to get slapped by certain companies. I may ask Dale Chase, would he mind if I use his music? Got to meet Dale when I was actually over. And they are the right size print. I got to meet Dale Chase when I was over in San Francisco. And as I said, he's a nerdcore rapper with all that entails. I brought sweets over with me from Ireland, including um, jelly babies, which are quite common over here. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, you know that Doctor Who was a fan of Jelly Babies, especially the fourth and seventh incarnations. So when I offered Dale a Jelly Baby, he goes, are these the ones Doctor Who likes? It was just like, right, here I am. <laughs> oh, wait, that's backwards. I see what I'm doing. Okay. The rails have to go out like that. So then it fits over like that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not stupid. I'm I'm just you know, derp. I have some hooked on a feeling stuck in my head thanks to the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy. I have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet. I am looking forward to seeing it. Um, since my wife is now back from her LARP event in the UK, uh, our little girl will be spending probably Friday or Saturday night in her grandparents, giving myself my wife our date night. And we are probably going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy together. Um... I'm one of those fortunate blokes whose other half loves comics just as much as he does. I picked up the wrong size. There you go. Uh, in fact, my wife has a larger comic book collection than I do. Most of it's in storage. Uh, but she is primarily an X-Men fan. I've been collecting them for about 17 or 18 years. I'd ask her if she was around, but she's out at the moment. I'm pretty sure 17 or 18 years is an accurate time span. Um, though we haven't seen Days of Future Past yet, we'll be remedying that very shortly. Um, and we haven't seen X-Men Winter Soldier either. We've got a bit of catching up still. Though someone did tell me what the post that there's not just one, but there's two post-credit scenes 
in Captain America the Winter Soldier. So, uh, Marvel Disney certainly stepping up their game. And let's be honest, if you go to a Marvel movie and you do not stay for the post-credits, you are an idiot. It's gone to the point where I won't leave any movie until the lights have come up and the credits have stopped rolling, because there's always going to be something. Well, not always, but it's not uncommon at this point for them to all have something. So, there we go. Drive tray is ready. It sits here. That. Really? Hmm. So, uh, anyone spot a potential problem? Yeah. That fits. So. There's going to be a lot of pushing and pulling on that, methinks. I'm worried about that. that didn't have screws before, now get screws in them. So I'm seeing a slight amount of strain on the uh, SATA cable. I think that would be my only complaint. The SATA little adapter and cable are the tolerances there it's it's really really tight I'm trying to bend it properly is just making a little problem not a huge one mind you not a huge one but there is potential for problem hmm. However, I do like the fact that there is a lovely cutout on one of the rails for this for the drive to make sure there's enough room for the wireless just enough it's once again very tight tolerances but hot oh, damn that's perfect once again I am blown away by the attention to detail on this it's the SATA connector that's it it's the one blemish on an otherwise Perfect little build. I'm just going to tighten that on now. Now, the aerial that comes with it is your standard little Wi Fi aerial. You know, nothing too, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Ah. There we go. Standard little aerial. Not bad. However, I have a couple of other aerials lying around thanks to Hack 5. If you go to the hack shop and go and go look at the Wi-Fi pineapple, you'll see there's a couple of extra aerials that you can get. There's a much larger 9 dB one, and there's a Yagi. Now I'm not going to use the Yagi to provide Wi-Fi within my home. I might like being silly, but there's being silly and there's being completely bloody daft. There we go. That's nice and tight. 
Uh, I don't mind the 90 degree ones when they're used properly. On this, it actually kind of makes sense because trying to get a SATA cable that short. It's just, I mean, the adapter itself looks fine. The, the data and power adapter on the end there. Perfect idea, good idea. That is a laptop power connection, if ever I saw one. It's just the fact that the cables on that have to be bent down. Now, there's nothing that it's touching against there. There's, that's where the compact flash card would go. I don't have one, so I don't care. That's the wrong size. Dang, all the... If I didn't know better, I'd say this is missing some screws. Console hard drive, remove the screws. Well, there was no screws there in the first place. There's only two. I need four. I'm missing two screws. Okay, well... thing is, I've got a billion and one screws around here somewhere, so um, let's go pull some out. Where did I put the screw bag? I have a bag of screws. I also have boxes of screws. <sighs> I have two of these from when Lexus was born, though we never actually ended up using them. And they're just full of tech bits. And in this case, a shed load of RAM. Um, I have a lot of RAM. Most of it's DDR2. Some DDR1. Some DDR3 as well. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of RAM. Uh, what's this? Uh, here's an... Pentium 3. There's some history. If I do my math right, this may be older than some of the people watching this, and that scares me. Then again, it's older than my daughter, so you know, that doesn't worry me too much. Yeah. Uh, motherboard tray screw. You're close enough, aren't you? Okay, plenty of flathead screwdriver for you. Does it go down far enough? I'd say it should. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Another one that's just as flat. I don't be perfectly flat, judging by the looks of this, but as flat as possible will be good. Hmm. Look to be about right. Oh, all the bits, all the bits. You would hate it more if it was a strike connector. Uh, yeah, if it was a strike connector, it would be a nightmare. If it was a strike connector, the turn would probably damage it even more. But at least just doing a little U bend there should be okay. And there's always one that's just a little out of. That's right. Uh, you know what? Three will have to suffice because the one's a little out of place and I don't want to risk bending it. Okay, let's throw all the RAM back. Seriously, this is like not even a quarter of the collection of my RAM. It's just where I keep the really, really good stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm 
was looking at the instructions. There is going to be clearance, which is alright. Not much, but that's how I'm going to have the cables for now, so they're just slightly bent. Uh, I don't know. I guess. Uh, Garandal comments with an SSD, you could have a nice squid setup. True. True. How are the tolerances going back together once I have shoved an SSD inside it? Uh, well, shoved the hard drive and RAM. The answer is there's a little bit of a push where the connections are. But. No, that's looking good actually. So. Screw number one. Oh, it comes with a vase amount in the box as well. To be fair, what the hell doesn't come with vase amounts these days? Everything comes with vase amounts. But, um, yeah. It's nice that they included it. They didn't have to. Mind you, I've seen some places online that sell this without its power supply. I'll make you buy the power supply separately. And that, and especially because they're charging a lot, makes me kind of go, huh? As I said, I eBayed this. Because um, I've been looking around for an idea. A gang of us were chatting in the Hack5 RC chat room. And originally I was going to, you know, buy a motherboard and do the whole build myself, and it was coming to three, three fifty, three sixty, I think, um, before delivery. Uh, that's three sixty euro. I was like, I want to do this, but it's ridiculously expensive. Can't afford that in the slightest. So I did what anyone, any, anyone does. They, I started rummaging around on eBay, and I found a German seller on eBay who sells quite a bit of stuff like this. Whose name I cannot remember. Uh, if you just look for the exact model on eBay, you would probably find it. And I said it came to after delivery. Well, after delivery, about three forty. Which which is not bad at all. There we go. Um, just have to provide RAM and a. Hard drive. Ah, so, a squid setup. Hmm. Huh. I guess it could be. I have to read up more to be entirely sure, but. Okay, now we have the fun bit. To... Trying to line up all the screws in the back. Because <sighs> they're just slightly to the side. So what we do is we put a tiny bit of pressure there. Kind of thing where being Doc Ock could be handy. shifted down. Good, good. Once you get the first one in, the rest tend to align a bit more, at least the one that's just one down from it. And once I get that one in, it'll make the other one line up too, I would wager. Oh, look, it did. 
something a little bit different from Lego builds. Mind you, this is dinky. I could hide it, hide it in Lego somewhere. I can see why the Jetway series, if this is indicative of most of the size of, and compactness of their stuff, would be used for car computers. But car computers have kind of become a thing of the past, thanks to tablets and smartphones. Everything that you used to use your car computer, you need a car computer for. These days, your smartphone and tablet can do with ease. You know, someone would say, eh, I don't like iPhone, or eh, I don't like Android, I want the, the iOS, and I'd be like, you know what, use what works. For me, I would probably go with Linux in this. Because having this in your car, with everything linked up to it, all your sensors, etc., would be dead handy. Of course, how many of you know how much stuff your car is actually throwing out? Well, you never ever know. But then again, someone with an SDR and some patience could find it. And done. Back together. Happy days. One little jetway. All nicely built. I should really organize some sponsorship at some point for doing some builds like this. Well, you know what? This build is brought to you by Hack5 IRC. For going through and chatting about different routers, different ideas, PFSense, building your own, etc. So to all you in the Hack5 IRC, thank you. Uh, and to Hack5 for letting me know there was a Hack5 IRC all those many, many years ago. I hope to be getting all involved and stuff. Thank you very much. Ooh, um, if you're interested in the Hack5 or the Wi-Fi Pineapple, uh, Darren Kitchen and, and Seb, Sebastian Kinner, Kiner? I can't remember Seb's surname. I feel really stupid right now. Sebastian Kine, Sebastian Kina, are doing a talk at the Wireless Village at DEF CON on Friday, starting at midday um, Pacific summertime. Um, so 8 o'clock UK and Ireland, 9 o'clock Central European. Yeah, work it out for yourself. They're doing a great talk. Huh? And um, definitely, definitely watch. There's going to be loads of, going to be some great announcements there. I wish I was there myself. Ta -da. As you see, it's pretty damn small. To be honest, my Netgear router has a bigger physical footprint than this. Yeah, my Netgear router is actually has a physical, bigger physical footprint. This is smaller than a Wi-Fi router. That's pretty amazing when you consider that it, it could be a full fat PC. Okay, you're not going to game on it, but could use it for watching movies. DVI out, so you know, DVI to HDMI, ba bam. Right, but um, I do have the stuff I need to get it started. Of course, I was thinking I could stick this as my aerial on it. I've had this for donkey's ears. <laughs> Ta da! Wireless! I think it might be a bit overboard, though. Just a little. Oh, so what are we going to stick in it? I am thinking PFSense. I am going to make this my router, firewall. Oh, look, I've got email. Router, firewall, everything. It has potential. A lot of potential. So, um... I'll take some shots of it once it's in place. I'll take some pictures and stuff and show where it is. It's going to be mounted in where the connection comes into my home. My connection is a fiber connection, but what happens is the fiber connection terminates downstairs um, in a very, very big fiber cabinet for the entire apartment block. And then what they have from there is they have... I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's Cat 5e, not Cat 6 cable that comes up into each of the apartments. So I don't need any crazy cable router or anything. I just need something that can take an Ethernet cable. So I'll have Ethernet in, and then Ethernet out. The Ethernet out will then go to a gigabit unmanaged switch. And since I have network ports in my entire apartment, one of the few things I built well, it will then provide network connection to everywhere. 
And of course, this will give me an awful lot more granularity in what I can do. So, uh, let's put you back up to where the camera mount goes from now on. Please. Now. Uh, do, do, do. No, you don't see that. Sorry. It's uh, work related stuff from my little company of doom. Mm. Yeah, that'll suffice for now. Apologies on the big white behind me. I really need to get a blackout blind. So, that was taking apart, showing off the insides and the build of a little jetway. Once again, it was the jetway. Oh, I can't remember it, but it is the jetway JBC32F36W2600 model B. It's the one that has the Wi-Fi already in it. Well, I'm going to go away and boot this up and see what I can do. Have fun, and I will show you more later.